I've tried to film this like, I actually tried like 10 times before Meredith got here and then she came in and I was like, good, help me. There's, there's no easy way to say it. Um, so I'm just going to say it. Uh, my, our really good friend, Jake passed away four days ago and, uh, he had a, a bad four wheeler accident, just a freak accident. Jake had a wife named Breezy and they had two little bitty kids together and so it's been really hard. We were really close with them and it's been hard for the last few days for us and even harder for them. He ran Bunker Branding um, and so he's obviously, you know, everybody at the bunker is really, really shaken up by this too and so Meredith and I let everybody have a break for a few days and so we posted on social media that um, hey, your orders are coming, but they're going to be a little behind because, you know, Jake passed away. And I hadn't planned on making a video, but everyone came over to the YouTube channel and started saying, you know, we're going to miss you, Jake. Rest in peace, Jake, on the video. So I feel like I need to address it. But I don't want to make a sad video. That's not who Jake was. And... He's the most happy person. Yeah. Like, of all time. Yep. And I've known Jake most of my life, but I wasn't really close with him when we were younger. He was my brother's <laughs> age. And so they hung out, so I knew him. He came over and spent the night at my house, but I didn't hang out with him that much. And then we both went to college and got married, and then we both moved back to our hometown. And he, he came into the vet clinic one day when I was working with his wife, Breezy, and their dogs. And that was the first time I'd ever met her. And I was like, she seems cool. I think Meredith would really like her. And I was like, you guys should come over and eat dinner sometime. And they were like, sounds good. And so they did. I got pregnant with Lincoln, and I was super sick. And then they came back into the clinic and were like, well... You've just been kind of not doing anything because <laughs> Breezy was pregnant with Grayson. And we've been super tight since. Um, boys, are, boys are best buddies. I asked Jake if he would help me sell merchandise, sell t-shirts and hats and stuff uh, because I wanted to do it but I didn't really know how and um, he came on and started working part-time and then it grew and he quit his job and came and took a leap of faith and came and worked with me. Ranch Merch is what it was called at the time, which is a terrible name. Um, he, he helped us start that, and then we turned into Bunker Branding, and then we moved out of the garage and got official and rented a place, and then... We did that, like, immediately. Well, it's because we really... <laughs> you'll see. You'll see in this video that we were overwhelmed. Um, we thought, sure, we'll just sell a few t-shirts, and then it was like... And we were like, we need help bad. But um, I, I sat down the other day to start watching videos of Jake just because I missed his face and I wanted to hear him and see him and and he's funny. He's stupid. He's really, really just, <laughs> just stupid jokes nonstop. I thought, you know, uh, let's make a video for Jake that's fun and lighthearted and one that, you know, his kids can watch, you know, years from now and it'll bring a smile to their face because their dad is a silly nut. And this is not a video... Um, about Jake and his life and his children and everything because we, we don't have that footage. I don't have that footage, but I wanted to show you guys the footage I do have, which is Jake hanging out with me, being dumb, and us building bunker branding. And Jake was a huge part of that. And so um, we're just gonna roll a bunch of clips that I just sorted through on YouTube. Mayor has not seen these clips yet. I mean, she's probably seen them all throughout the years, but she hasn't seen this this compilation that I put together over the last few hours and uh, we're gonna roll it and um, I also did want to say that we have a GoFundMe um, all the money goes straight to Jake's wife and their two kids because they are obviously scared about what the future holds for them um, without a dad in their life and so you know it's just to help them get back on their feet and it's doing really good right now I think it's up to 50,000 and I think it would be Almost. It's at 40, I think. Oh, okay, 40,000. And I think it'd be cool if the demolition came in and blew it out of the water. So, yeah. um, if you like, there's a link in the description below. But if not, just watch this video and smile at Jake just like we smile at Jake every time we saw him. Um, it was hard. We got the call Monday night and, uh, no, Monday morning. Monday morning? Yeah, Monday morning, Super four early. in the morning. And I got a call at, and it said, uh, he was in a bad accident and it's not looking good and we need to get to the hospital. And we spent all day at the hospital with all Jake's family and friends and we were in the room when he passed away, um, surrounded by all his family and friends. 
and we held on to him while he while he passed and man it's hard it's hard but watching these videos helps me remember Jake and put a smile back on my face so um, enjoy the compilation of stupid clips of <laughs> me and Jake ready <laughs> yeah all right we are heading out all the power is out in all these buildings that we're driving past <laughs> Oh, hey Matt. Hey dude. Fancy meeting you here. You ready to party? Ready to party. It was at this moment that he knew. I flew the drone right into this tree. Jake's gonna throw a log at it and hit the branch. Hit the branch, not the drone. The drone? No. And I'm gonna catch it before it hits the ground. Wish us luck. Oh, how is it still stuck? Oh, yes, good, good, good. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you kill a Mavic drone. Jake over here. Hey, dude. Hi. Hey, man. So we're trying to do our own merch. And so I asked Jake, I was like, hey, do you want to be my, my merch manager? Jake's making all this magic happen. Look at him over here. Just just working away, doing stuff that I don't understand how to do. Jake's always been here. Like, he creeps, <laughs> creeps around the house a lot. But now he has a reason to creep around the house. So he's going to be here a lot in a lot of the vlogs. You can totally make that jump. Here, Addy, well, scoot, scoot that table back for him. The thing is, what's that? <laughs> 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 Wasn't this the same day that um, y'all strung the zip line over the pool and busted the light bulbs from the cabana lights into the deep end of the pool? Yes. What you also didn't see on this video was Dennis, who fell in the water there, had he didn't want to get wet, and so he spent about 10 minutes <laughs> getting that ladder to the middle of the pool so he could fix a light bulb, and then Jake just walks over the end and pushes him in. <laughs> Uh, Jake and I are gonna be packing all this stuff until this business grows enough that we're like, maybe we should hire somebody. We have a printer. I mean, first step of business right there is just getting a printer. We started uh, ranch merch in our garage. Um, for those of you who think Bunker Branding has always been a big warehouse, it was in our garage and our employees were me, Mayor, Jake, and his wife, Breezy. And by employees, I mean those are the only people helping us. No one was actually making any money at first. Matt, I think oh. Matt needs to, Mayor needs to be a little bit more this way so you can still see his demo ranch part of the shirt. There, there perfect. Tough. Smiley? Tigers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Did you do the tiger? <laughs> tiger. <laughs> he kept trying to make me do a bunch of weird stuff like that the Tigers. whole time we were doing this. I was like, Jake, I don't, like, no. I'm not funny. I'm not funny. Jake, how much trouble are we in, buddy? Uh, a great deal? Trouble, maybe? I don't <laughs> He's know. He's cleaning the desk. Okay, Jake is the only reason that our warehouse has functioned. Like, it has, like, such a neat Tidy. freak. Yeah, it's gonna be... so organized. It's gonna be hard keeping everything. organized now. Jake was very tidy. We thought this would take us a couple weeks to sell. Uh, we've sold over half of them in um, six hours. We're gonna be working late tonight to fulfill orders. Hey Meredith, nice baby. That was Jake's baby. Holly was so tiny. She's tiny there. Yep. Oh my gosh. Jake is working really hard, not me. Don't worry about that, dude. We're printing our very first order. Michael E. P Peary. First order, Michael, you're our first customer. Dimos Ranch t-shirt, large, athletic Heather. Um, Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Where are they? All right, we got it, buddy. Right here for you. Oh man, this is so official. Also, this is so inefficient. We gotta figure out like a Ford assembly line way to do this instead of you and me both putting this one shirt in here. <laughs> the four of us were up 
until like midnight that night and maybe packed a hundred dollars. Well, what's funny is in like two hours, I say, Mayor, how many have we packed? And you go two and a half. We, the, <laughs> the computer jammed up and I was like, it was dark outside of the next clip. And I was like, how many have we packed, Mayor? We just packed this one. I said, how many have we packed? You go two and a half. <laughs> First shipping label. Okay. I'm going to close it up. Seal it up, man. Are we ready for that? We're ready. Did you double check the order? Ah, who cares? I'm just kidding. Yeah, I did. I actually like checked it like seven times. And then we throw it in the done. Boom! Switch. All right, Jake, I'm gonna go inside. You finish up out here, buddy. Seriously. So Jake gives it to Mayor. Mayor takes it in here. To me and Breezy. <laughs> Notice uh, the wine on the table. We were really efficient workers back then. That was the only way we didn't quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. She taped it to a bag and it ripped the bag. Can we fire our employees yet? Evan, you got the one and only small. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even reach. And only. Jake, Jake, this business is gonna get closed down so fast. Uh, How hard is it to flex? Like, it, or my... it barely flexes. It barely does. I know, but so am I like... You can do it. That's the hardest part of this life. Mayor, they're a team. Our, our boys, our boys are working together. If it is, it goes in the system. It takes away from our inventory. If it's not, it says, what is it? Does it just put up an error message? Yeah. Look like you guys are whispering sweet nothings when I turn the camera on you. Yeah. That counts. <laughs> he made it like the first try. <laughs> Nailed it. First try. We don't need to be wasteful though. That's the thing. Hey Jake. Hey dude. Jake says he has something for me or for us? For you. For you. Camera. Right. Okay. So I know how, you know, YouTube recognizes you, you get so many viewers and you, know, you kind of like that thing. You kind of like love being it. recognized. I love my So for 5,000 orders, uh -huh. I got you. It's not a placard, but it's pretty cool. A dude, flag. that's pretty cool. Dude, Wait, we're not done. That thing's legit. Good morning, Jake. Good morning. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. You know what's not very exciting? What? Watching two dudes at the hardware store picking out a door. <laughs> but you know how we can make it exciting. Have you ever heard of an epic edit? Nope. I just edit it to look epic. Ready for this? Yeah. Good luck, Jake. Do I need earplugs? I actually have no idea. Twenty-two. Just a twenty-two. Just hit it as hard as you can. I think you just <laughs> tap it. That wasn't it. Whoa! When we got this press, none of us had ever printed a t-shirt. Ever. And the guy came to set it up and he thought he was just training us on how to like use, use this, this particular, particular machine. machine. And then he got there and found out that there were only like three employees and none of us knew how to print a shirt. There are more than three employees. There weren't very many. They're like six. It's like printing like companies will they buy small. buy a much more modest machine first, like a manual press or a smaller automatic press, and we're like, no, we wanna like we wanna change the game. Jake and Steven were like, we wanna change the game. <laughs> yeah. And so we got the big dog and he came in like to show us how to use this machine and we're like, whoa, so how do you print one shirt? <laughs> like that's what we need to know how to do. Yeah. And we he finally like taught us the basics and we started like putting shirts on and Jake got really excited and wanted to see how fast he could make it go. And so he was like, I printed like a hundred shirts in twenty minutes, which would have been a big deal, but then we realized that they were all crooked. <laughs> and we had to throw them all away. What are we looking at right now for width? It's so it's not nine inch wide. This is how you take a file and turn it into a t-shirt. Step one. Right. 
It's happening! No, he did it wrong. Cancel! It's not printing. Um... It's beep, supposed beep, to be beep, 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 beep. It's supposed to just be ready and not printing? Yeah, it's just supposed to stay ready. And so the printer prints that. Show it off. If you fall, right. well, I'll talk to you you're fired. Dude, I got no, no worries. <laughs> the board skills is strong. We're gonna be so efficient. <laughs> <laughs> the next machine you're gonna see is called a exposure unit. So that's Looks all cool. you do? Okay. Do we have scotch tape? Yeah, I wanna see this thing suck. But <laughs> you do. <laughs> I just wanna make t shirts all day now. This is awesome. <laughs> really fast. Whoa. <laughs> Does it have a dog on it? Something's happening. Cooking it. Meredith, come on! Here it comes, drum roll please! Drum roll please! It's coming out! This is it! We did it! Our first shirt ever! This is the worst. Look at this dumb pink truck. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Do you guys like the truck? No. No. I hate it. I hate it too. <laughs> Good. You're on our team now? Also, I've done some research. It wasn't just Meredith. It was your mom, Mr. Jake, Mr. Steven, and Mr. David. They were all in on it. What? Yeah. You all help? Jake, I want you to know that you should not trust Steven. <laughs> because, I just want to throw him under the bus. I said, hey, uh, I know David had a part in it, I know Mayor had a part in it, and I know Steven had a part in it. I said, Steven, did Jake have any part in it? Or is he, was he clear? He goes, no, he definitely had a part in it. <laughs> I've been here with the dream team talking. We got, we got Nunchuck Dave over here. We got Steve, Jake, Mayor. He has a baton. Everyone has weapons. Classic bunker. All right, here are the, the main talking points today. So the first one is we're out of space at the bunker. So I'm gonna give you a little office tour first. First office on the right is Jake's office. Jake is always working super hard. What are you doing? The, the shirts, they were coming from the rear. I've got them coming in the back, you know, they're sending it, so. Oh, yeah. you can send it. Yeah, send it, they're coming from the rear. That's, cool. that's all I was doing. Cool, bro. Keep up the good work. Love ya. <laughs> no. No. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Don't do anything. I'm gonna set this up. Shooting Jake's butt. Shooting Jake's butt. Go, go. This is the greatest thing Jake's ever come up with. Whoa. Cool. All right. Fire multiple. So we're printing all the orders. These are all like one month subscriptions. These are all things you have to pack up today, right? Yeah, all these will be packed. So like when you see a stack with all these in it, those are all different orders that have to be packed and shipped today. All well, those 2,500 orders today. That's a new record. 2,500 orders out in one day. The post office is gonna hate you. They call us mini Amazon, basically. Yeah. Obviously. Subwest. Hat, a sticker. Hats being made right here. Those all have to be done today. Look at these piles of shirts. This is all stuff that is going out. That is it's just a third of what's gonna go out. That's a third. That is just what's been done this morning. Rolling into the bunker now. Everyone come out with your hands up. This is a stick up. Lincoln, Lincoln, you're in big trouble, mister. Jake, no! David's is still too cold, but getting getting close, mine is sittable. Mine is not, not like comfortable warm, but it's, I could sit in here and survive. Jake's, he put onions in the lime in, in his. Jake's is actually really nice and warm. Jake is big on cooking, and so it was super funny that he put a onion and a lime to like flavor his bath water. <laughs> Have you made any drinks? Uh, can you make one with protein in it? Oh yeah, no problem. Trying to grow. Bro. You want some pre-workout in this? Yeah, pre-workout and protein. Pre margarita With a margarita, perfect. We're about to have some fajitas. Jake, 
You the man, buddy. Look at this. Get a shot of that. I told Jake, hey, figure out the food. He it said, I got this. you. Oh, you oh, got <laughs> <laughs> can't get in there. It's great, dude. <laughs> the best day of my life. We're cooking inside the warehouse. Inside a trailer. Nobody give me any lip tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you flop that weenie around. <laughs> See y'all later. <laughs> Wes is like, oh. <laughs> First place, we got Clint, the maroon shirt back here. Second place, that was me. Third place, Jake coming in third. Steven coming in fourth. Donut coming in fifth. He finished. There's Clint, finish line. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Good job, Clint! Woo! Let's go, Steve. Clint won! Clint won! Come on, Matt! Let's go, Matt! Woohoo! Woo yeah. yeah, Jay! Woo! Let's go, Mark! Go, Mark! Yeah! It's Jake's birthday today, so we decided to go float the river and have a little fun on Jake's birthday. Jake's wedding ring fell off. No! He lost it? I'm not moving. It was in this area, Jake. Are you I'm sure? Yeah. You just had it? Hey, Clint, we lost the wedding band. Whose wedding band? Jake's Jake. birthday boy. We went for a hug and he was like, oh no, it fell off. You're sure you just lost it? Are we. Right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he brought those, but that is what found his wedding band. But you had it two when minutes you ago. Know when you lost. We can find this. We can find this. We need more info. Where did it fall off? Here's where it is. Behind? It, it has to be within this ring. Hey, don't be walking. Hey, don't be contaminating the area. Jake. Yeah, this is a crime scene now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going in. <gasps> How did you find that? <laughs> what? Drink his whiskey! Drink his whiskey! Drink it! He found it! Yeah. How did he find it? No way! <laughs> That's crazy! Hey Jake. Yeah. Look at that little wimpy Jeep over there. <laughs> There's not even a rifle on the roof, it's bro. Orange. Pediatric dentistry. Are you serious? <laughs> Kids' teeth fall out. You don't even need to take them to dentist. Cranked up the lights. Look at this thing. Are you gonna run over those cord in the parade? If they get in front of me, I'm not slowing down. Someone just yelled for you. They said, "Hey Jake." Oh, you mean somebody wanted me instead of you? Yeah, you're getting so famous. Dude, can't handle it. <laughs> Some little kid just yelled, blow something up at me. And are you gonna fulfill his request? Yeah, or I mean, I can't let a little kid down. <laughs> you took a selfie with your mom. <laughs> did you just tell that kid you took a selfie with his mom? I did, I did. <laughs> that is Breezy, Jake's wife, and his son, Grayson, who's Lincoln's age. They were tiny. They are little. <laughs> oh my gosh, everybody! That is uh, Breezy's dad holding their baby girl, Collins. Hey, Lee! So, so, Matt, you picked up a chick and got a kid. Got some hitchhikers. Yeah! So as you can probably see by those videos, um, Jake was always smiling, always happy, always funny, always cracking jokes, not afraid to embarrass himself, and uh, I think that's what I liked about him. He just always made everybody in the room smile. And there's obviously way more to Jake than what we showed you in these clips. This is just how he was involved with our YouTube stuff, our videos, and our merch business. And Not going to be the same without him. It's going to be... It'll be hard. Yeah, so much of it. The bunker is going to be super hard, but also just 
not having him around in the rest of our life too. It's yep. gonna be weird. Our kids loved Jake. Actually, when Annie was tiny, she hated everyone except for me, pretty much. She tolerated Matt. Um, but most other men, like, could not get anywhere near her. But for some reason, she loved Jake. Like, even when she was tiny and hated everyone else. Yeah. And he loved our three kids like they were his own. They'd be like, uh, we got donuts at Mr. Jake's house yesterday morning. And I'm like, <laughs> dang it, Jake. <laughs> but... Thank you guys for the support and uh, everything on the, the last few days. Um, I've been kind of away from social media, as you guys have seen, um, which I usually don't like to be away, but I've just taken a little break, done a lot of family stuff, and gone and you know done what we can for the family. And so, um, you know, it's one of those things that we're not going to be over for a long time. Um, but I, I hope you guys can see what a, a bright light Jake was, Jake was in our lives. Um, and, uh, and the world's uh, not as good of a place without Jake, but heaven is a better place with Jake. And I have one special thing. Um, there's been a looming question on Demolition Ranch for thousands of years that you guys have wondered. And we've never told you. And that question is, is Creepy Cooter a real person? And if he's not, who does Creepy Cooter's voice? And it's time for me to come clean. Um, Creepy Cooter is in fact not a real person. He is a mannequin. I'm sorry I lied to you for so long <laughs> and told you he was a real person, but he's he is actually a mannequin. And Jake was the voice of Creepy Cooter. No big deal, guys, but our printer works. Look at look at that. Cooter just creeping over here. We're about to take a lot of pictures of me wearing shirts so we can put them on the website. And because someone else is in these shirts, I had to invite someone that we haven't seen in a while, but he came out to support the merch business. Hey, guys. I just don't want you to think that because I invited you back to the photo shoot that you're back on the show. It's, it's not going to happen, bro. Why not, man? Listen, it's just... We've gone our separate ways and the channel's gone really good since then and I just, I think we should keep our distance. But I brought this pretty little rope that we could play with. See, that's what I'm talking about, the weird stuff like that. <laughs>